dog? Where's dog? Dog? Is that you, dog? Is that you, dog? Hey, we gotta do a session today. These are the Hoka One One Jaws. You like the Jaws? One One Jaws. It's the Jaws. You like the Jaws, don't you? Hi there, it's Coach Sage here. The workout video back uh, where I grew up out in Sticks of Oregon, uh, Coast Range, out running in the woods on these trails that I used to play on as a child, playing peg, having squirt gun fights, spur cone fights, playing in the mud, building forts, running around with the dog, uh, doing a workout, hill repeat workout, getting back to that short intensity stimulus. So the goal today is to do 12 reps up this hill. I mentioned it out, it's about a third of a mile. Who cares what the distance is? I think it'll take close to about two minutes to run. So pretty high intensity uphill running reps, uh, getting the running motion back, getting that power in the legs, getting that heart rate spike back, and then jogging back down uh, with the recovery. But getting some lap day, getting the heart rate spike up, and uh, you know working on that edge of the beard to max the lap day threshold, higher intensity than that, getting those fast twitch muscle fibers activated. But I think it kind of gone dormant, so to speak, with all my slow mountain slogging at super high altitude, so let's get out there. You dropped Tigger. Poor, poor Tigger. Poor Tigger. Lynx? What is it? Some sort of mountain lion. Panther? Is that a panther? Is that a wild? Come here, kitty. She's cautious of the camera. Yes, you're a good kitty. Let's go for a run. Let's run, Kitty. Let's go, Kitty. That is speed right there. That is some speed. Speed demon. Oh, yeah, so part of these trails actually were old frisbee golf. I guess you call it disc golf. Disc golf course. We had these kinds of uh, homemade uh, baskets. You know, mostly these trees, but a lot of great trails, wooded trails out on the in the woods here, forest trails. And, you know, it's to be a tough workout, but, uh, Jog down here and start the first rep. Uh, score down, way to go. Uh, legs are a bit tired, definitely a, not an easy workout. It's great to get back at, at near sea level, at, at 500 feet here in the, the hills of Oregon. Wind still to kick your butt, I mean, this is tough grades and it's all really runnable, so getting in that leg mechanic, that leg power, that drive, but also really striking, uh, striking the heart rate, cardiovascular system, Something I've, I've kind of missed, I think, jogging around at altitude and getting those mechanics back to the simulating plastic muscle fibers. Working really great in the Hoka One One Jaws. This is a real lightweight shoe here. Good down on that. The lugs there, you got 
five millimeter bead drum lugs on the outsole, seven ounces in weight. So super lightweight too, really flexible, low profile, great for cross country. You could run in 5K on, on golf courses and uh, dirt tracks, trails. It's a really great all around fast view with like the NANA jaws. But uh, yeah, it's got more reps to do in this workout. And uh, you know, I grew up on these trails, riding, being really active as a child. And I'm uh, really thankful for that environment, training environment. Uh, I was riding mountain bikes and I was three years old without training wheels, falling on these trails. and really nice to get back here, so if you enjoy the recovery, get into the workout. Wow, that's one fast one. That was a good effort. So that's they all ended up being about 41, 145 to 150. And the last one is about the same as the first one. This one's really fast rest, so really tough. Cool. I uh, got some lactate going, get that heart rate spiking high and get the breathing rate up. Uh, similar to phosphorus muscle virus, but it's really good for the variable running economy. I think I missed some of that intensity and power, and I've said in a previous training talk, I didn't want to get away into doing too much easy, slow intensity running. For most people, we recommend that when you're trying to get your mileage based up, easy, aerobic base. But for me, since I have 20 years of year round running under my belt, a lot of seven minute mile pace, or you know, what is that, like 345, 350 per kilometer pace. You know, I'm not going to go 60 minute mile pace every day and easy days, it's only to recover, but I need to do these moderate to high intensity workouts probably more often again. Get back in touch with good running mechanics and speed. Work on those thresholds, the lactate thresholds, rotor thresholds, things like that. So I think it's good to get back to that. Uh, thanks so much for subscribing on here. Thanks so much for following along. Really appreciate all the Patreon supporters and my dad for filming this workout. Uh, big thumbs up to dad. Being back home here is, is great training and, uh, Kind of reminded me of training to not watch them back in 2012 for the first time, getting on these clothes again. Really good treat. But uh, thanks so much for your support. Always great to hear how your running is going. Thanks for liking these videos, commenting on here. Thank you again. Hope your running is going well. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned videos.